I think one of the critical changes is how we classify tumors. Uh, we have a new classification now, uh, which is based on molecular profiling rather than histologic grading or uh, the grades of the tumor. So I think this will offer us looking at more precision medicine-based approaches where we will uh, look at targeted therapies uh, to go after uh, some of these uh, actionable driver mutations. And uh, the essence is we would like to use therapies where we are able to minimize the toxicities that the patient uh, experience and also maximize their quality of life. So one key takeaway is when I often get asked is how to best treat a patient with brain metastases. Uh, I always say uh, patients with brain metastases are unique because a brain metastases patient can have a different primary cancer. Uh, lung cancer is the most common cause of uh, brain metastases. 50% of patients with brain metastases generally have lung cancer origin. So I always make a case that we should treat every patient as a unique case and look at the patient's uh, extracranial disease as well as the disease in the brain. We always like to make the best decision to the, uh, treat a patient which is m best done in a multidisciplinary manner. That means a neurosurgeon is involved, a radiation oncologist is involved, a medical slash neuro oncologist is involved in taking care of these patients.